Welcome to JB Marks Oval, Warzone Now, where it is another T20 fixture. It's going to be a cracking one as the bottom loggers are going to take each other on in this uh, T20. And uh, oh, the Northwest Dragons desperately need to win. They've played three and lost three. And the AET Tuskers have played two and lost two. So one of these teams will taste victory today. But who will it be? The toss was done earlier, the Tuskers won the toss and they've elected to field first in this very, very humid and hot day here in Potchefstroom. It's going to be a fantastic day. Auto Investment, Northwest Dragons batting first on which looks to be a very good wicket. Not a lot of grass on, but in T20 normally doesn't change that much. Welcome to everyone tuning in on the uh, Supersport channel, also on YouTube, Pitch Vision. Production guys, welcome. Hope it's going to be a fantastic day here at uh, JB Marks Oval to all the scorers behind me. Good afternoon. In here, they all excited. We're going to bump it up on this T20. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic innings. You can hear the atmosphere. There's already a couple of people in. If you've got nothing to do on this Friday afternoon, please pop in. It's going to be a cracker. Like I said earlier, one of these two teams is going to taste victory. And uh, the celebrations, being in Poch, knowing that this is student town, the celebrations will be big. Doesn't matter what you do here. It's always fun to be in Poch of Sturm. Northwest Dragons. It is going to uh, Makail Prince. is going to open up the batting. He's had a pretty decent run of it thus far. He's also the wicket keeper for the Northwest uh, Dragons, the auto investment Northwest Dragon. Going with Ruben Hermann, his opening partner, who is very, very exciting player to watch. And we just to see how the Tusk is going to start. Most teams have been opting to go with the uh, spin option up front. And it looks like the AET Tuskers are going to do exactly the same thing. Facing the music first up will be Ruben Hermann. That'll be for the Auto Investments Dragons. First ball, first run, just tucked around the corner and just uh, to get him going. Ruben Herman just getting off the mark there. Nebela, first ball up. Not a big turner of the ball. He does skid it onto the bat nicely. And you can see Herman just walking down the track, just uh, talking to Prince, saying to him, listen, just have a bit of a look. There might be something in it for the bowlers. The field is set. He's got a deep square out on the fence. Turning it away from the right-hander. Oh, a bit of a bounce there, but well fielded. You can just hear the encouragement. T20, always exciting to watch. Oh, there's a bit of turn and a lovely shot. And confusion, confusion, Northwest. Oh, the Dragons nearly lost their first one. Had a bit of a mid-wicket conference there that the two batters for getting the ball is live. They need to get to the other ends. But uh, just one run in the end there. But a ball watching there by Herman. Tucking it off the pads again into that deep square, running in hard. And getting the ball in. Oh, lovely throw to the keeper. But they are just lovely, just uh, making sure that they rotate from the beginning. Oh, this time just beating the outside edge, going for a very weird cut. Close to the body, trying to pierce that offside field between backward point and a vacant third man. Oh, nearly caught the edge and also nearly cluttered into off stump there. Labella doing a fantastic job taking out the slip 
And he feels he just wants some more protection in that cover region. Oh, a little shimmy and uh, saw him coming. And a fantastic first over all singles. Ruben Herman and Prince taking the score to three without loss. A lovely start there by uh, the bowler. Clabella starting off only three in that very first over. Keeper taking off the helmet. We're going to definitely see some pace coming in. The auto investment dragons, three without loss. AET Tuskers, for them, key would be wickets up front, making sure that they get early inroads into this batting lineup of the dragons. As you see, Dudgeon coming into the attack, the right arm seamer for the AET Tuskers. Very hot and humid day and welcome to everyone that has come out and supported the cricket thus far. Dajan coming into Herman. Oh, swinging it into the left hand and hitting the pads. A bit of shape there from the seamer, immediately asking for someone to go down to fine leg because he's getting some lovely shape into the lefty. He does have that deep square on the fence and then also a deep point for the left-hander, which looks to stay the same for the right-hander with a deep point and a deep square on the fence. He's got a 45 in the circle. He's got one slip, especially for the right-hander because he'll be swinging it away. And then he also has got a very deep gully. It's almost like a short third man on the on the ring. Here we go, Dajan into Prince, facing up to the seamer. Oh, lovely shape again, and just riding the shape, just punching it into that uh, point region for another single. Very important, T20 cricket is not just the boundaries, not just the big shots, but also getting that rotation going as well. Don't let a bowler settle to a batter. <coughs> Very subdued start thus far. In these couple of deliveries already. Again, lovely shape into the lefty. You can just see the slip and everyone get very excited. That's lovely shape and the timing just not quite there trying to get it between get, trying to get it in between the mid on and the bowler the ball just swinging a lot more Again, this one whipped off and it's on that man at 45 at short fine leg, just picking it up. Oh, just cannot pierce the field at the moment, Can Herman. You can actually see the disappointment there, pointing to where the ball should have gone. But it's a couple of dots strung here together by, by a Dudgeon. Keith Dudgeon, very experienced bowler. Going into the exciting Ruben Herman. Oh, this time he pierced the field. A lot of work to do. They're going to double up. And he's just picked it up and thrown it in. Well done. Good chase on the fence there. And finally piercing the gap, did Ruben Herman. Last ball of the second over. Oh, went for the drive. Just again picking out everything is black and blue at the moment for Herman. Just trying to pierce that field to get that first boundary going. This done with the second over in this T20. 
And it's seven without loss after two. Fantastic bowling thus far. And immediately we see a bowling change coming in from the Tuskers. Looks like uh, Ruben Trampelman is going to come in. They might have just picked up that there's a little bit of movement for the seamers and opting to go with seam straight up. Prince going to face up first. Very exciting bowler. Big strong lad is Ruben. And Trumpelman is also the all-rounder in this Tuskers team. Left arm seamer, always exciting to see how much shape they get into that right-hander, into that pad. Prince facing up. Oh, yes, you could see immediately a bit of movement there. And uh, not great communication by the two fielders there for the Tuskers. But, oh, that would excite Trumpelman a lot. Great shape into the right-hander. And he nearly snuck through Prince there. Just kept going. Everyone getting very excited with the movement. Oh, this time again, shaping it in and just punching it into that offside. It's one for Prince. It is uh, going to be very interesting to see. It's already two overs gone in the power play. When will they take a risk? You want to utilize this power play as much as you possibly can. But also, you don't want to lose wickets because that means that... Uh, you put your other batters under pressure as well. You don't want to expose that middle order too quickly. You want them to really, really get explosive in this power play and then also to the back end. But you can only do that if you've got wickets in hand. Trumpelman to Harman. Oh, this going over the bowler's head and very nearly, very nearly the bowler get a hand to it. And he dropped into no man's land. And oh, very nearly the first breakthrough there for the AET Tuskers. It just looks very hard to get the ball away. Oh, this is a lovely cracking shot by Ruben Herman. That brings up the first boundary of the innings. It is a glorious shot. It's a forfa. For Ruben Herman. Just see the replay on that. Just linked into it. Lovely shot. And it raced over this very quick outfield. Oh, this time going over the top and just eluding the man at mid on. Doubling up. And we were just saying, when are they going to take a chance? When are they going to take the opportunities? And it looks like Ruben Herman has uh, decided it is time. Score is 16 without loss. One more ball to go in this Trumpelman over. Started off very well. Caused all sorts of trouble. And a great fight back here by the Auto Investments Dragons. Going wide and getting the bottom edge of Herman. This is racing away. Is finally going to come around and pick it up before the fence. No, it's not. It's trickled into the fence. A bit of a teaser there for the fielder. Fantastic stuff by the bowler. Very unlucky, but very lucky for the Auto Investment Dragons, who has now scored another boundary. You can just see the replay. That one just getting the edge and uh, keep it at everything he could actually moving to the different direction and then got caught by the inside edge and the teaser just won the race there end of the third over the score has jumped up to 20 without loss after that very good over of 10 runs or 11 runs rather for the dragons dudgeon coming into the attack for his second over mikhail prince He's very happy just to give the strike to Ruben Herman at the moment. 
He's going to be, Prince is going to be facing up to Dudgeon. Just dropping and going again. That short third man picking it up. Everyone appreciating that better fielding. And what would Hanuman's approach be here to Dajin? He's been bowling very well. Only conceded the four runs thus far. Taking out the slip for the left-hander. Reinforcing the black and blue wall on the offside. Trying to protect that offside fence. Maybe go a little bit wider to him and swinging it back into that off stump instead of leg stump. Oh, very well done by Herman. Going across and very well bowled by Dudgeon. Wrapping him on the pads. No appeal. It sounds like there was a bit of an inside edge. Yes. Given as runs. And the slip comes back into play for the right-hander. Yasin Vali in the uh, slip cordon. Oh, Prince coming for the big drive, and he gets it through that black and blue wall. It is his first boundary for the day. Not the most conventional cover drive. He leaned back and drove it, but a fantastic shot nonetheless. It brings up a forfer. Just leaned back onto it and drove it through the covers. Dragons getting a move on now. They are 26, busy with the uh, fourth over. Meeting the ball, batting outside of his crease, and just a little bit of a shuffle. Getting himself in line with the ball. You can already see the batters are pushing out the sweat from the... Uh, inner sweatbands in the helmets it is very humid very hot there is some cloud cover and a little bit of a breeze that will just give them a bit of relief on the field dodging into prince oh big edge finding the top edge going for four once again no chance for the keeper no matter how much hang time he would have had he had no chance. Big, thick heads. The bats these days. The ball just flies off. And Dudgeon with a bit of extra base space. Bowling that heavy ball. Lovely, lovely bowling. And uh, four runs for the Dragons nonetheless. You take them the way it comes. Always happy to get some extra runs on the board. You make your own luck in this game. Uh, after the boundary, just dropping it. A bit of a misfield there. And they're going to double up. And it is another two for the auto investment dragons as we come to the end of the over. Dudgeon conceding now 15 runs. 12 runs coming in that over. One being a very, very lucky four but it's going to be a great great setup it's 32 without loss tuskers desperately needs a wicket they need a breakthrough and they hope that trumpelman will get them into the wickets column at the moment things going the way of the auto investment dragons arman and prince putting up a 32 partnership thus far with Hermann on 15 of 12 and Prince 16 of 12. Sharing the balls well. Oh, Hermann going for the big Evo. Just getting the inside part of the bat. And it went for four runs. Chumpleman just teapotting, standing hands on hips. Cannot believe how the ball went there for four. Fielder had absolutely no chance. With the power play still in, they got a deep point. And they got a deep square leg that's in front. And uh, this ball just racing away for four once again. Big Hevo. 
by Ruben. He's taking a liking to Trumpleman. Facing up again. Oh, again beating him on the inside. The ball coming into Herman. He's not reading it. Expecting it to go away. And this ball again. In the previous over, he got an inside edge. That just went down to four. And this time around, the keeper was awake to it and he could cut it off. You can just see the way Trumpleman is walking back. He is having a very hard time. Trumpleman into Herman. Oh, this time around, getting away with a bit of a short wide delivery. Herman would have felt that that should have gone for runs. But then again, he got a fall from the inside part of the bat earlier. So, uh, evens out. It is 36 without loss. Still another over and a half to go of the power play. Oh, going short this time round. And Herman says, thank you very much. It is another boundary over midwicket. Just not the pace to get it up to the throat area. And Herman says, thank you very much. Trumpleman running out of ideas, trying something different. And getting hit in front of square just shows you the pace in the deck. Is not there for the short ball. They've now changing the field. Sending out mid-wicket to the fence. Also got that deep square out and bringing in point into the circle. Only two fielders allowed outside the circle. Oh, much better bowling this time. Just back of a length and fantastic running and great response by Prince as well. Trusting the call. It's another one to Herman. And this is what makes it things very hard for the Tuskers because they keep changing the field. This right-left combination really making it hard for them. Hadamon 24 of 17 had a very subdued start and now getting a bit of a move on. Again, quick call, quick response. Man right on the edge of the circle. Easy one. And that brings another over to the end. Five overs gone. One more over left for the power play. It is 41 without loss. 42 without loss. I beg your pardon. Being corrected here by the scorer next to me. Every time there's a bit of a delay on my screen, I see. So uh, thank you very much. It's 42 without loss after five overs. One more over left of the power play. We're going to see a bowling change as well. Zetwea coming in. His best figures are 3 for 19 this season. The Tuskers versus the Warriors. It does take a wicket. Does take big wickets as well, and oh, how the Tuskers would love to get a wicket here. Again, just tucked off the pads. Great call there by Herman, sending Prince back. He's about uh, 10 paces on his way back already. They're hoping here, desperate for a wicket, is the AET Tuskers. Where can they manufacture one? Is it going to be a false shot? Is it going to be a fantastic delivery? They'll take any way they possibly can. Sending out the deep point once again. The square leg has gone to a sweeper on the leg side. And now again, changing it even further, he's going to deep mid-wicket for the left-handed Herman. So he's got the deep point and the deep mid-wicket. Oh, he's getting the edge. Very lucky for Arman again. This is going to race down to the third man fence for four. 
They can only pick it up and uh, oh, 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 the dragons riding their luck. Especially Herman, that's the uh, second streaky fall that he's hit. And we mentioned that he likes taking willy wickets. And he's getting the edge of Herman. Just pushing at that one and with no slip in play. Very lucky to get away with it. This time round, just picking out to feel that extra cover. And just hear the encouragement in the field. They desperately need a wicket. They need to pick up the intent. Dragon's not running away with it in the power plays. Oh, this one is whipped through mid-wicket and it's exactly to that man that was placed there for Herb on the left hand. A deep mid-wicket on the fence. Great captaincy. Working out the batter. Patewa coming in again. Pretty decent over. He's got the edge already of Herman once. Bowling to Prince. And this time round, he just decided. And as you heard from the crowd, it's a shot and a half. It is the first maximum of the day. It is a half a dozen to Prince. Northway Dragons is on the sixer column as well. And that brings up the 50. It's 54 without loss. Dragons, another 50 partnership. And they need these two to kick on. If you're a Dragon supporter, you want them to build this partnership to a big one. If you're a Tusker supporter, please, let's break the partnership. Let's take a wicket. Oh, and this time around getting the inside. Prince again is about 15 paces on his way to the non-striker. Herman just would not have any of it. And a fantastic innings for the Dragons comes to an end. It is Herman on 29. Prince is on 24. It is 54 without loss. And the Tuskers, oh, power play finished. Now they've got to go back to defending. How desperately they need a wicket here. Signal from the umpire just showing the power play is done. Klebela coming back into the attack with his uh, left arm turners. He's hoping for a bit of a viper, make it spit off the deck. Are oh, they going to need something here? Here's the AET Tusket. Someone just needs to pick it up. It's going to be a fantastic bit of fielding. It's going to be a ripper of a ball. Is it going to be a batter making a mistake? The Tuskers will take any possibility at the moment. Even a fortuitous run out will serve them well. You can just see the body language of one or two of the Tusker players. Immediately going defensive after the power play. The five men send out the circle. For the left-hander, they've got uh, the sweeper out. They've got mid-on and mid-off out. Mid-wicket out and square leg. All on the fence. And this is exactly where that one goes. His deep square leg. They're turning for a double. Fantastic running by Herman. For him, there was no doubt that there's two. And Prince obliged. And it was fantastic running. And it was Kukumur picking up the ball. And uh, could not stop that double for the auto-investment Dragons. Oh, full toss and Q ended. Eight ball corner pocket. That was Prince calling it back and not great fielding by the Tuskers. Rapulana sliding and uh, just managed to nudge it to Dajan. 
Oh, he got away with that one. Zabella. Oh, getting the charge and uh, doing it himself this time round. Picking it up and uh, cutting it down to one. You can just see the pressure tolling on the AET Tuskers. Very important for the Dragon batters not to ease up on the pressure. Make sure they every single run put pressure on the field. And for the AT Tuskers, just make sure that these ones do not become two. Another single to Prince. Dudgeon picking it up and just lobbing it in. AT Tuskers must just make sure that they don't succumb to the pressure and let it slip a little bit. The experience of Yasin in Valley, very important. Oh, again, another single. This left right combination. Herman this time around saying no. Fantastic work there by Arlank coming in very quickly there, making sure this time round that there is not a second. You could hear this big shouts of Arman saying no, no, no. Prince facing up. Oh, at the moment it's almost like tip and run in this T20 match. Fantastic rotation of the strike as we come to another end of the over. It is 62 without losses after seven. The run rate is 8.9. Doing a fantastic job is the auto investment dragons. It's going to be a tough task for the AT Tuskers from here. They need to defend the total, make sure that it doesn't get out of hand. But then also they need to pick up wickets because it does not just break the rhythm of the batters but also that new batter normally takes a few balls just to get his eye in just to get used to the conditions the pitch Tetewa coming in very lucky was Herman in his previous over, he got an outside edge, it just eluded the keeper that went down for four. The atmosphere is picking up here at JB Marks Oval in Pochevstrom. And because of that defensive field, the singles are going to be coming in regular intervals. It's almost going to be a runner ball for the Dragons from here. They would be happy with nothing else because they only have to beat four fielders inside the fence. The third man being sent back to the fence. They've got the deep square out. They have got deep point. And then the two and mid off is also on the fence. Sending out fine leg as well. With mid on, sorry, sorry, mid on on the fence as well. Give himself some room and a lovely straight shot. Is he going to cut it off? He had absolutely no chance to cut that off. A fantastically timed shot and just shows you how quick this outfield is. The field that mid on on the fence had about 15 meters to go and he could not cut it off. Great shot. And Herman really getting to his work now. He's 39 of 25. Prince, his partner, is 27 of 19. That is a lovely shot past the bowler. Again, just shimming to that leg stump. Doubling up is Prince. This is fantastic running by the Auto Investment Dragons. All the pressure is on the Tuskers at the moment. Doubling up once again, Herman and Prince is making this look easy. That's Shimmy just getting outside leg stump and then playing it on the inside out on the offside. All the pressure is on the bowler here. 
Bit of a slower ball. Is this going to be another maximum? You betcha. It's another half a dozen. It is huge. Herman eyeing up that 50 once again. It's going to be a fantastic one if he gets there. Partnership is 75. And the uh, auto investment dragons are making life very hard for the AET Tusker bowlers. Tadewa not making an impact after getting the edge of Herman in his first over. Now getting punished. First a lovely sexy on drive and this time a brute force just spanking it over that mid wicket <laughs> fence. Oh, good comeback. Prince replying immediately and all the pressure on the fielders for the Tuskers. And that is another double. It's not just the big shots. They're doing all the work in the pitch as well. Fantastic running and oh, the Tuskers. Tuskers, they need a wicket. Where will it come from? They need a wicket so desperately. Oh, this one is spanked by... That will bring up his 50. Bit more edgy than he wanted it. But that is Herman's 50. It came of only 29 deliveries. Seven fours, one maximum. And that's another 50 for Ruben Herman. And also brings the end of the eighth over. Now this run rate has shot up. And they're going at 10s. They're going at double figures. 10.1. It is 81 without loss. And oh, what a fantastic start. By the auto investment dragons having all their wickets still in the bank. And they're putting all the pressure on the AET Tuskers. Oh, hard to come back from here. It's going to be a toughie for the Tuskers. Played three and lost three already. And the Dragons have played two and lost two, but they got an eye out this one. We said it earlier, one of these two teams are going to taste the sweet taste of victory. For the Tuskers, they need 10 more wickets. Eh? They need a couple of deliveries. They need to string a couple of dots together. But these two batters, Arman and Prince, have just made life very, very difficult for the AET Tuskers. Klebela coming in again. Uh, again, Prince very happy just to drop and go. And we see a bit of a collision there by the uh, Tuskers. I think the rugby field is a bit two clicks that way. Getting tangled there with one another. This one just nurdled onto the uh, onside. Harmon facing up and whoa, how he has spread a field. He's got his sweeper out. He's got mid off and mid on on the fence. He's got square leg about 10 yards off the fence. And then also mid wicket picking it up. Who's also about 10 meters off the fence. Tusk is trying to cut down those doubles as well. And the fantastic part for the Dragons still that right left combination. So every single ball and every single run the field has to change. Dot balls is going to be like gold dust for the AET Tuskers from here. That is slapped to that sweeper. Just the one. That was an interesting run. Prince every now and again is about 10 meters on his way back already. This time for the last 10 meters he probably walked that one. Saving some energy in this very hot day. This is short. This is absolutely murdered once again. It is another half a dozen to Herman. Klebela, who's bowled pretty decently, dropping this one short. Definitely not the pace you want to try the bumper with. He's not there. You can just see the replay on your screens there. It is easy pickings for Herman. Opening up that front leg, leaning back. And absolutely slapped it onto that grass embankment. Even causing a bit of a hold up. Poor Dudgeon had to climb all the way over the fence. Over the uh, 
embankment. Picking up that ball, that's another sixer, Ruben Herman. He's on 60 of 31, nearly striking at 200. And then on the other side, Prince, he's on 29 of 21, just happy to give the strike to his partner, Herman. Partnership is 90. This time down the track, and Dudgeon's got a lot of work to do. Fantastic fielding by Dudgeon. The big fast bowler coming around quickly, covering a lot of space, picking it up. And it's another double for the Dragons. Giving himself room, and this time spanked through the offside. Long off picking it up and Prince again fantastic running. That's two again. You can just see Herman just going down a little bit, trying to catch a bit of breath. Prince and Herman is really murdering the runs at the moment. Fantastic running. AE Tuskets under all sorts of pressure. 94 without loss. Lebele's three overs have gone for 24 runs with that massive six coming in the last over as well. Just want to cool down a bit. Batters just asking for a little bit of, uh, of attention, please. Something cold on the necks. Umpires just asking them just to uh, hurry along. It is extremely hot day. The lanky Janssen making sure that everyone is uh, getting something to drink. Another change in uh, bowlers. Michael Adelon going to see if he can do something with the ball. Off spinner. He does bowl it a lot slower through the air. Hopefully this will just cause something. And he's going to stay around the wicket for even the right-hander. Hoping to create a bit of an angle. But this is the wicket they want. Herman is on absolute fire. He's 64 of 33. And this time inside out saying, I am not done yet. It's another four. Lovely shot. And oh my greatness. Herman is absolutely murdering it. It is 99 without loss. Run rate is 10.6. And this will bring up the triple figures for the Auto Investment Dragons without losing a wicket, a hundred partnership as well. It is a hundred up. Fantastic job done by these two batters. Makail Prince has scored 30, but the man of the moment is Ruben Herman, 68 of 34. But that partnership is a 100 up, a ton up. Oh, the Dragons will be very happy with that. Now Prince is coming down the track and an absolute lovely shot. Another half a dozen. And now Prince says, hold on, I want to join the party as well. A little bit of a shimmy down and just picked it up nicely straight over the bowler's head. Oh, the Tuskers are under the pump. And batting at six and uh, seven at the moment. After that sixer, just picking up the single. This is fantastic stuff. 107 without loss is the Auto Investment Dragons. AET Tuskets are under all sorts of pressures. Adelank has gone for 12 already in this over. And now Herman goes downtown. And he's absolutely slapped that past the bowler. Another four. And oh my greatness, what an expensive over this was. 
They tried something different with Erlang, tried to take off the pace, and he just absolutely flew off the bat of Herman and Prince. They have now gone to 107 without loss, and it's only after 10 overs, 11 overs rather, and oh my goodness, danger signs going at 11 at the moment. Nelson on the board, halfway mark, and oh, they are eyeing up that 220, 230 region, which is going to be very difficult for the Tuskers. Another bowling change for the Tuskers. They're going to try every, anything and everything. Mondli coming in he is a right arm seamer. Hopefully there's going to be a little bit of extra seam for him. Getting a ball to nip somewhere. Oh, just absolute carnage at the moment for the Tuskers. That ball has been pushed down straight to third man and they still take a single. They know they can put the pressure all on the AET Tuskers. Auto Investment Dragons making full use of this field being spread out. But that there was never a single in that and they just made it look so easy. Mondli running into Herman who's on an absolute, absolute rampage. Almost a little bit of a letdown there, a dot ball. Very important for the Tuskers to string a few of these together. Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very long 10 over still to come. Herman is striking it at 200. He's doing a fantastic job for the Auto Investments Dragons. That's good, thank you. You can go to number position. Oh, Herman. Coming down towards the ball, picked up by Shackleton. Going to have a bit of a job to do later on as well, is Shackleton. His hand is strapped. There's a little bit of a injury concern there. But he was declared fit to play in this match. Mondli going into Prince. This one is steered past backward point. Absolute finesse after the bludgeoning that the ball has taken. The ball will be very happy with that ball just being finessed past that backward point. And just look at this pure timing. Just going across to that fourth stump. And just a lovely shot. It's another four. The score is 117 without loss. Prince has now moved on to 42. And he's done that in 26 deliveries. Herman is on 74 of 38. We've been talking about Herman the whole time. But even Prince now has picked up the strike rate to 152. Herman is going at 190. Oh, Tusk is under pressure. Oh, this time round directly to third man again. And they just said, hold on. No need to take a single every delivery. Mondly bowling two dot balls thus far, which, have, which will be gold for the AET Tuskers. Desperate for a breakthrough. Oh, this one is bludgeoned down. They have not timed. Shackleton picking it up. Just the one. That's the end of another over. It is of the 11 overs. It is 117 without loss. Going at 10.7. You can see the crowd in enjoying the cricket. You can just see them sitting back in the shade. It is very, very hot. So not using the grass embankments this time round.
Again, it's it's another bowling change we've got for the AET Tuskers. It is 118 without loss. The Tuskers will ask for anything now. Even a mole just to put his head up through the pitch and just create the ball to do something. This one is absolutely smeared over mid-wicket, but not timed again. Prince just trying to hit the ball a little bit too hard. Delport coming into the attack. Coming around the wicket to the left-hander. Cameron Delport, a very experienced player. Doesn't normally bowl, and that's probably why Herman just spanked him again for a, a four right over his head. We were nearly in discussion. Is that going to be another six? And it was a 4-1 bounce. Empire says four runs. And just look at that free flow of the hands. And what a shot it was. Hitting their own advertising board of the Auto Investments Dragons. Oh, and you can just feel the emotion from the AT Tuskers. Just the wind taken out of their sails at the moment by these two. Herman and Prince putting on a display. 123 without loss. Again, not time. Two is the call immediately. And easy to do so too. Herman has moved on to 80 from 40. Prince is 44 of 29. Oh, and there's a drop catch. There was what they were looking for. Cameron Delpot just put down Herman. What a big let off and how destructive is Herman going to be from here. The change in bowling finally worked. Delpot, not a recognized bowler, comes in. And he drops Herman on 80. Oh, the AET Tuskers will be gutted. That's what they wanted. That's what they needed. Oh, full toss. And Prince says, thank you very much. Is it going to be over the fence? Yes, it is. He was keeping mid on in play the whole time. And that means it's 50 up for Makael Prince just rocking the baby. It is 50 of 31, and this partnership is 132. Oh, one of these two is eyeing up a ton. Fantastically done. Marka Hill Prince, 30 of 31. Ruben Herman, 81 of 41. AET Tuskers, where are they going to get some luck? Herman dropped 80 by Cameron Delport. Not what they required, not what they needed. <laughs> oh, inside edge. Herman going for a big swipe across the line. He wanted to put this one right in the com box here by us. Managing an inside edge, and well done by the keeper. Just making sure that he's stopping that one. <laughs> Mondli Kumalo nearly got a wicket there. Oh, great fielding there by Prince. Just, oh, that was right on the ankle of his batting partner. He's going to feel that. Herman just apologizing. And probably asking him, maybe just move. That was on the way to the fence. That's another single. 
Mondle Kumalo coming into Prince, who's just reached his half century. Going on to that offside and rank full toss, hitting the advertising boards very hard. And it's another four. And uh, Kumalo missing his length completely. And it's again that shimmy across to the offside, just creating the doubt in the bowler's mind. You can see the crowd just absolutely loving it. Just missing his length, moving across and just spanked. Thank you very much. Four more runs. Oh, and this time a ramp shot. Vacant third man. Again moved across his stumps. Went to that fourth stump. And this time just ramped it down to third man for another boundary. Monli Kumalo has no idea where to bowl the ball anymore. Letting it go in faith at the moment. 141 without loss is the Auto Investment Dragons. And everyone just coming in and having a bit of a chat. You can see Erlang just talking to his bowler there. Just everyone giving a bit of advice. Where can we go to? What can we try? What's the plan? Just waiting get all the way back to the fence again shimming across is this going to be the opportunity Ooh. and a fantastic Ooh. catch what a take that was and that is what the AET Tuskers would have wanted it's going to take something spectacular to break this partnership and it did Mikhail Prince is out for 58 and what a catch that was. It was Trumpleman, it looks like, who took a fantastic catch at deep square leg, making a lot of ground and diving to his left. Mikhail Prince is out for 58. Just look at this replay. Got a pretty good chunk to it, didn't time it all he wanted. And just look at that effort by the big left armor picked it up you just see the joy just him looking at the ball and thanking his hands for holding on to it what a fantastic innings that was Mikhail Prince 58 of just 34 balls five fours three sixes in a partnership of 141 fantastic stuff for that first wicket partnership Adman still there He's getting some uh, gummy bears, most likely. And a bit of water, well deserved. And the AET Tuskers, hopefully this will just lift their spirits a little bit. Because it has to, because otherwise they're going to chase down a mammoth score. Yeah, at JB Marks Oval. Pretorius coming in. Michael Pretorius. He's got a fantastic record. He's a big striker of the ball. Big, strong, strapping lad. At the moment, he probably will just knock it around to get used to the conditions and feed all the balls to Hermann. Finally. Mondli Kumalo with a rank long hop got a wicket. Wasn't the best of deliveries, but he got rid of Prince. And that's a breakthrough that the AET Tuskers would have wanted. Two dot balls in a row hasn't happened that often for them. And now they the fight back needs the fight back needs to start from the Tuskers. A lot of work to do. We see a change in bowling. Kumalo's two overs have gone for 16 runs, only three fours. And he's picked up the important wicket of Prince. As we see the man who took that fantastic catch now feels he needs to take the ball as well. It is the big left armor. 
Trumpelman coming into the attack. He was very expensive in his first two overs. Hermann took a liking to him. And he's going to be facing up to Trumpelman again. This time round, he's got some uh, backup. He's got mid on and mid off outs on the fence as well as mid wicket and square leg on the fence. He's got a sweeper out as well. And you feel this would be the ideal situation for the AT Tuskers just to keep Hermann off strike. Get the new batter on strike. Just uh, hopefully you'll eat up some deliveries just to get going. The average first inning score here at uh, JB Marks Oval for a day game is about 162. The Dragons will definitely surpass that by quite a long way. Oh, this one is uh, pulled left armor, bringing the ball back into Pretorius. And that takes him off the mark of that dreaded duck. The Donald is off. The highest team scores is 271 for the loss of three. At this ground, it was the Titans versus the Knights. Oh, this one is absolutely spanked. Is it going to be another catch? Oh, did not time that whatsoever. He went for it. The sound of the bat wasn't great, and he nearly held out. One bounce to that fielder and a very wide mid on. Oh, Pretorius going over the top, and uh, this might just kick and race away for four, and it does. Michal Pretorius going inside out, going over that mid on, mid off rather, for his first boundary of the innings. And he's a big striker. Is this going to get him going now? Oh, E.T. Tuskers, watch out, watch out. It's going to become a very long day for you. They need something. Going at fives and sevens is the Dragons. After Almost after every single boundary, there's been a single. This is fantastic batting by the Auto Investments Northwest Dragons. AET Tuskers picked up the very important wicket. They broke. That first wicket partnership of 141, but now Trumpelman into Ruben Herman, who's on 84. Giving himself a bit of room and absolutely smashed it. Past the bowler. It is another four. And Trumpelman conceding a couple of runs in that inning over once again. He's gone for 35, and it brings up the 150 for the Dragons. It is 153 for the loss of one. And still six overs to go. Oh, 10.9 is a run rate. So we're looking well past the 200 mark. And with nine wickets in hand, you can't expect anything else. This is going to be a mammoth effort from the AET Tuskers to bring this one back and pull it back into their favor. Wickets are important, but dot balls, dot balls, dot balls is what you want in a T20 match. One wicket down as uh, Klebela coming back into the attack. Consider 24 runs of his three overs. Coaching staff wondering where they should go to. Captain wondering where the fielder should be. Keeper having an eye on the angles. But, oh, the opening partnership, 141. Crucial for the Auto Investment Dragons. AET Tuskers desperate here for another wicket. 
Oh, and here it might come. It might come. Oh, my goodness. Thick edge there by Pretorius. Nearly gave them their second. And it just looped over the fielder. How lucky was that? It was a bit of an extra bounce there, it looks like. Klebela. And it just popped over Adelang's head. Oh, that's what they needed. Desperate despair for the Tuskers. This one dropping short again. Is it another chance? Oh, fantastic fielding in the deep. Decided to save the boundary and they're coming... For another two. That was great fielding there on the fence. He rode the bounce well and just made sure the ball does not pass him. Oh, this one just slapped down the ground. It's a single. Shackleton picking it up. And congratulations, Herman, on surpassing your previous best against Western Province this season. His previous best was 90. Fantastic job done. A PB on this JB Marks day. Personal best there by Herman. Previous was 90. Now on 91. He would love to get a triple score here. Coming back, running hard for his partner's runs. Michal Pretorius going for a big slog sweep, not getting hold of it. And it's another double for the Dragons. He's moved on to nine from six, 159. Klebela just trying to create something. Oh, firing this one in. This could be it. Is this going to be no man's land once again? Oh, and a direct hit there would have been... Detrimental Herman down on his haunches. He's on his knees. Tired and saying thank you at the same time. Great job done. Oh, Pretorius missing that one. we stifled appeal by the bowler only. That would have missed leg by about two stumps. Michal Pretorius trying to give himself a bit of room. And just whipping it across. Herman is out on his feet. He's so close to that triple figures. But he surpassed his previous best of 90. He's on 91 and doing a fantastic job for the Northwest Dragons. It's 161 for one. 15 overs gone. You can just see the crowd there, everyone applauding. Very happy supporting the locals. Watch of Strum always been a lack of ground to come and watch cricket at. Always fun, always something happening. And today they have been treated by absolute slugfest thus far by the Auto Investments Dragons. AET Tusk is the recipients of it. Starting the fight back. Run rate still at 10.7. Oh, this one. It probably double up once again. Pretorius will look to come back. Great fielding in the deep. It takes him to 93, does Herman. Kumalu. Who picked up the wicket. That's Mondli Kumar who picked up the wicket off Prince. Has changed ends. Oh! Adamon missing out. It's a dot ball. Mentioned it before. They need to string a couple of these together. Make sure they get a couple of more dots. That would build some pressure. And also will just keep the scoring rate down. Because they're eyeing up that 11. If they go at this rate, you're looking at a score of well over 220. 
Call is two again. Pretorius, great response to the call of two. Fantastic running by the non-striker. This big field at JB Marks Oval proving to do, be detrimental to the AET Tuskers. Just cannot stop the twos from coming. And using all the home field advantage is the Northwest Dragons. Just reminding you that Tuskers won the toss and they elected to field on this deck. And Herman has absolutely smoked it once again. That is his 100. His first T20 century of his career. Well played, young man. Ruben Herman, raise your hands. Fantastic batting. 101 of 51 deliveries. What a fantastic job. Auto Investments Dragons, a star in the making is young Herman. And he still has another four hours or so to bet. Oh, it's going to be danger signs. Danger signs now. Is he going to now really cut loose? 90, he scored his 152 deliveries. And everyone just applauding Herman and asking him for another couple of big ones. Oh, he nearly obliges. He went for one. And he's been batting at over 200 strike rate. So if he lets rip now, oh my goodness. It's going to be absolute carnage. And on the other hand, he's got the big frame of Pretorius as well, who can also clear any field. AET Tuskers need to break this partnership. It's on 31 already as well. Oh, white ball. This is not what the Tuskers need. Not what the Tuskers need. They've been so disciplined. They've not conceded that many extras. You can just look at this. This is the 100. Just shimmying onto that offside and absolutely smoking it for the 6. Over deep midwicker. That's the 100 up for Herman. And the elation afterwards. Oh, Pretorius has hold out. Another fantastic catch. What a fantastic one it was. We've seen two brilliant catches in the field. And this is what the AT Tuskers will need to do. Michael Pretorius goes for 11. And they're now 173 for the loss of two. And again, Mondli Kumalo is picking up wickets. He's the pick of the bowlers thus far. Michael Pretorius is being replaced by Reinhard van Tonder. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic fight back if the Tuskers can pull this back and see if they can't just get it under that 200 mark. The Auto Investment Dragons will be very disappointed. They don't reach 220 from here. The AET Tuskers would have done a fantastic job just to get it under 200. The fight back has started. But the story at the moment is the maiden century of Ruben Herman. Who has batted out of his skin. 16 overs gone. 173 for the loss of two wickets. Run rate is 10.8. Ruben Herman on 102. He's just been joined by Van Tonder with the fall of Michael Pretorius's wicket. 
was a fantastic catch to get rid of him. And Kumalo picking up another wicket. Change in bowler. Dudgeon coming in. He's going to bowl two overs thus far. Oh! And it's been given. Caught behind. Everyone being a little bit confused. Even Herman asking what's going on. And he would get a standing ovation. Dudgeon coming in with his first ball of his third over. Conceding 15 runs. Picking up the mammoth wicket of Ruben Herman for 102 runs. He's made in century. And he would get a standing ovation. Being congratulated by the AET Tuskers fielders as well. And you can just see the crowd appreciating the knock that Ruben Herman did. 102 of 54 deliveries. That's 11 fours, three sixes. And magnificent running between the wickets. It has been a fantastic innings by the young man. Oh, he's growing in stature. It's a star in the making in our white ball cricket. Even Dudgeon who picked up his wicket just giving a bit of an applaud. But oh, A.E.T. Tuskers, what a fight back this has become. As captain, Mutusami coming in. This will be the most important time of the game for the AT Tuskers thus far. Two brand new batters. None of them has faced the ball as of yet. They need to string the dots together now. They need to put the pressure back on the Auto Investments Dragons. Dudgeon is going to lead the fight back. And for the Dragons, they would just be happy to knock it around. That's a single. Mutusami just getting off the mark. Fantonder yet to face a ball. In the 17th over, you feel that the momentum has just been shut down by the AET Tuskers. Shows you what a couple of wickets can do. And also a couple of dot balls. Dudgeon finally has a bit of a smile on his face. Making sure everyone is in the right positions. Just having a look at the field is Van Tonder. Making sure there's only 11 on. <laughs> we hear the uh, crowd asking for cow corner. They want to get that two-handed catch going. Van Tonder off the mark as well. Him and Mutusami has to consolidate a little bit as well. But then also want to kick on with the great work that's been done by the opening batters. Mutusami playing that one well over his head. That's 15 love. That was slapped down. Dudgeon doing a fantastic job. He had two balls to go in his third over. Only conceding three thus far and picked up the most important wicket of Ruben Herman, who was flying. 102 of just 54 deliveries. Now the Tuskers need to fight back. Get that score under 200. Give themselves a decent chance. Going wide and this time eluding that short third man. Lovely placement there by Van Tonder. Maybe a little bit too wide from Dudgeon there. <coughs> 180 up for the Auto Investment Dragons. That's for the loss of three wickets. Busy with the 17th over. One more ball to go in this Dudgeon's third over. Just explaining the plan would have worked. It was just eluding that short third man.
Oh, this time just uh, place for the one. That deep point coming into play again. Dudgeons, three overs have gone for 23. Picked up the big wicket of Herman. And this is now where it becomes difficult. Kumalo's got one left. Dudgeons got one left. There's three overs left. How important will this over be? Looks like Kumala's going to finish up. He's allotted for, especially with the new batters in. The run rate is still 10.6. It will do be a fantastic job done by the 80 Tuskers if they can get under 200. Put the pressure a little bit back on the Dragons. But the Dragons can play freely now. They still got seven wickets in the bank. So you've got to feel this next three overs. We might see some fireworks still. Scoring rate has just been subdued with the wicket of Herman and Prince. Machael Pretorius just did not get going as well. Oh, full toss on the pads. It will only be the one. Great work in the deep. Lovely quick feet across the park. This right-left combination changing the field once again. They've got sweeper out on the fence for the left-hander. Then they've got mid on a middle back. They've got mid wicket back and also deep square leg with the third man and fine leg in the circle. And then also it, it's almost a deep gully that they've got on the circle as well. Maybe just to try and stop those cut shots. Mutusami facing up. Oh, sweeping that one straight. To, oh, and terrible bounce. And well done there by the fielder from the AT Tuskers. What well, to Sami getting that one. Straight to that deep square leg. And the bounce nearly got over his head. That would have been a lucky four. Great fielding. Looks like it was uh, Shackleton. Yes, it was. Going wide and just picking out the man. Erlang wanting to throw, but the backup is all the way on the fence. Knowing that they can't give away singles. Another dot ball. This is gold dust for the AET Tuskers. Mutusame and Van Tonder. Oh, this one. It's another single running hard. Is Mutusai putting his head down? Captain just sending him back. It's the big left arm of Trumpleman just picking that one up. He's got a very good arm. He took a fantastic catch earlier on to get rid of Prince. And we saw another great bit of athleticism. When Erlang took a fantastic catch to get rid of Pretorius in the covers. Just feel the momentum has just shifted a little bit. The energy is no longer with the Dragons. It's almost with the AET Tuskers. Getting the backward point in as well. So now they've got a backward point, a deep gully and a third man. All on the fence and going for that reverse scoop. He has bowled him. Hitting that off stump and literally just clipping the bales. Mutusami giving his wicket away. Eyeing up that vacant third man region. It is another wicket for the AET Tuskers. Captain Mutusami back in the hut. Just him facing up. Kumalo doing a fantastic job. Going for the reverse scoop and just hitting the timber. Fantastic wicket. As Nguepe coming in. He's joining Van Tonder. Mutusame gone. Four balls face for just three runs. And uh, Kumalo making the difference in this match. He's gone for 31 runs, one ball ball to go in his last, in his fourth over, in his last over. He's picked up three wickets thus far. Fantastic work done by the medium pacer.
AET Tuskers making sure it's going to be achievable total run rate is getting closer to under that 10 is 10.3 Van Tonder pushing him back for that second great running and this was what was missing in the last couple of overs is that intent of making the ones twos and a big hand will go to Kumalo. His four overs have gone for 33 runs. Three wickets that he's taken. Great job done by uh, Kumalo. Mondli Kumalo. Medium pacer. Fantastic. As we see Dajan going to bowl the penultimate over. Got to wonder who's going to bowl that all-important final over. But this is going to be a big over as well. If they can string a couple of dots together or even just give away the singles... That would give them a chance just to get under that 200 mark. As if you're an AE Tuskers supporter, Auto Investment Dragons will be very disappointed that they haven't reached the 200 as of yet. But it's been fantastic work of the last five overs by the Tuskers. Oh, Dudgeon again passing the outside edge. Just looking to hit the ball a little bit too hard. Reinhard van Tonder is 8 of 6. He has scored one boundary thus far. Moving across to that off stump and just getting down on the knee. Shackleton getting it nice and quick. Fantastic fielding. And you can just feel the energy from the Tuskers all of a sudden now where the shoulders were a bit low. And the energies were down. You can just feel that energy just picking up now with those wickets. That partnership being broken. One or two wickets. A couple of dot balls. And they're starting to believe once again. AET Tuskers with a fight back. Dudgeon and Kumalo leading it. <laughs> oh not getting hold of that whatsoever is Nguepe getting rushed there by Dajan three more balls to go in this 19th over energies have just gone down we haven't seen a boundary in quite a while when are they going to launch? They still have six wickets in the bank. Oh, right in the block hole on the toes there. Going for a second. This could be a chance. Shackleton just couldn't pick it up nice and clean. Great running by the Dragons, but fantastic bowling by Dajan. 190 up for the Auto Investments Dragons. Fantonder is on 11 of 9. Dudgeon steaming into Fantonder. Oh, taking off the pace of that one. Bit of a cut and again another two on this very big JB Marks field. This is a huge outfield. So the ones do become twos. This is going to be hard work. For the Dragons, they need to get over that 200 mark, that psychological 200, making sure that the 80 Tuskers need to bat at 10 from there. Oh, another great ball, Dudgeon going wide. This will be another two for the Auto Investments Dragons as Dudgeon finishes up his four overs. One for 31. It includes a big wicket of Ruben Herman for 102. 194 for the loss of four wickets after 19 overs. One more over to go. Six wickets in hand. You got to feel there's got to be a bit of a bit of a slog fest now. Even the crowd has lost some energy. We heard the uh, emotions a bit earlier on when Herman scored his maiden Test century.
It's going to be the big left armor, Trampelman, coming in. Ruben Trampelman has bowled three overs thus far. It's been a little bit expensive. He's considered 35 runs. Bowled only three dot balls. He's into Nguepe. Who went for it. Short delivery. Bowling it into the deck and it's just the one. He's got the deep square out. He's got uh, deep mid-wicket out. And also he's got the mids out for the left-hander. For the right-hander, he's got the sweeper out. And basically the same field, just swapping around. He's got deep square, deep mid-wicket, mid on and mid off on the fence. And then also the sweeper on the fence. Third man and fine leg in the circle. He's going downtown. It's a call for two. Is there immediately? Oh, and a misfield again after the pressure has been built brilliantly by the AT Tuskers. A fumble here and there is just creating a little bit of frustration for the bowlers. The only man in the circle now is that uh, extra cover backward point third man. And also fine leg who's almost on a 45 position. Around the wicket to the right hand of Fantonder. He goes for it. One bounce to that fielder in the deep square leg. And another misfield is going to trickle into the fence. And Trumpelman is teapotting again. He's just standing there. He doesn't even want to look at the fielder. He cannot believe it. It's, that brings up the 200 for the auto investments, Dragons. 201 for the loss of four in the last over. And oh my greatness, fines will be devastating for the fielding team tonight. Three balls left in the innings of the Northwest Dragons. Oh, we went for it. Is this in the gap? Is this going to be another boundary? Fantastic fielding again. The fielders taking each other out. There's going to be a triple in it for the first three we've done for the day. I said it earlier, well, I think the rugby field's a couple of clicks to the right. It's the second time the AT Tuskers have taken each other out and getting a bit entangled with one another. Trumpelman thinking, what must he do just to get the fielders to get along? Two more balls to go. 204 for the loss of four. Guepe is on four of three. Fantonder is 24 of 14. Ah, oh, he's going for it. Call was two immediately as soon as he left the bat. Fantonder came back and uh, all the pressure is on the AET Tuskers fielders. Last delivery. It's exactly three o'clock here in Potchefstroom at JB Marks Oval. It's an auto investment. Dragons taking on the AET Tuskers. Hosa Nawe, what an innings it was. Oh, fantastic delivery and just a single, a subdued finish. Trumpelman bowling a very good last delivery. And that brings the innings to a close. It is the Dragons finishing up on 207 for the loss of four wickets. That's of 121 balls. That means the run rate is 10.4. That AET Tasca is going to have a mammoth task trying to get these runs. 208 at over 10 to the over. And congratulations to Herman for his maiden century. He scored his 102 of 54 deliveries. 11 fours, three sixes, and also Mikael Prince, who scored a fantastic 58 of 34 deliveries. And then uh, Reinhard van Tonder, a bit of impetus, 24 of 14 there in the end. Wicket takers for the Tuskers was uh, Kumalu, who picked up a lovely three wickets. For just uh, 33 runs in his four and Dudgeon bowled brilliantly in his uh, comeback spell 
picked up the big wicket of Herman of 31. It has been a fantastic innings by the Dragons. 207 for loss of four wickets. 20 overs to come. AET Tuskers. Oh, you batters need to warm up. It is going to get hot here in Potchefstroom. We're going to take a 15-minute break and we'll be back with all the action from the JB Marks over Wozanawe.
Welcome back to JB Marks Oval in Potschefstroom. It is going to be an absolute cracking chase by the AET Tuskers. Cameron Delport opening up for them. All the experience, all the, every bit of experience going to be needed for them. But remember also the Pratias women versus Sri Lanka inbound tour. Let's go South Africa. Experience the World Cup finalists, the Pratia women's cricket team in action as they rise up and take on Sri Lanka in the T20 and one day international series from the 27th of March up until the 17th of April. Was on nowhere. Let's show them our team. There'll be sixes, there'll be dancing, there'll be big hits. Let's follow the Pratia women on social media for more details. Hashtag always rise. It's going to be a fantastic tour. The ladies are going to do their bit as well. And talking about doing their bit, the AET Tuskers is in for a heck of a fight. And the auto investments, Northwest Dragons, is going to try and contain them to under 208. As I mentioned earlier, Cameron Dalport with an average of 25, 31 50s and already 500s in his T20 career. 257 innings makes him one of the most experienced batters on the park today. And Ntando Zuma, the youngster coming into this match as well. Bowler is Kervin Mungru coming in. His best bowling figures is 3 for 21 against the uh, Dolphins. This is going to be a fa fascinating contest. Rapulana is the opening partner for Dalport. Munguru coming in the lanky fast bowler. Rapulana facing up. It's go time here at JB Marks Oval. Big chase for the Tuskers. And what a delivery! First up, an absolute Jaffa produced pitching leg hitting middle. And what a start for the Auto Investments Dragons. It is one of those peaches you do not expect first up. And wow, what a start that was. An absolute beauty, total contrast to what happened in the innings of the Auto Investments side. Oh. The wind out of the sails immediately. You've got to feel that they need a big, a big partnership like the 141 we saw from the Dragons. It's the slow walk down. Oh, disappointment for the AET Tuskers. A first baller, a nice Royal Donald. AET Tuskers. Yasin Valley coming to the crease. 
A lot of experience now in the crease. Yasin Vali, left-hander, joining Cameron Dalport. We had to stand in a non-striker's end to see that absolute nut. Oh, what a delivery that was. Vali facing up. Oh, getting the outside edge. Playing it down to third man for the one. Again, that shape coming into the left-hander now. But the right-hander just looked like he was trying to play a little bit across the line. And that ball just swung from a leg stump line, hitting that middle and off peck. Fantastic bowling. One for one. Dalport facing up to his first delivery. Mangru, fantastic start for the Auto Investments Dragons. Oh, and what a start that is for Dalport. Dismissive that was. It's four, it's the first boundary of the innings for Dalport and for the AET Tuskers. Absolutely dismissive there, overpitched, trying to get that miracle swing into Dalport. Just a lovely flow of the bat. Bang! Four runs. And Tuskers are off through the races. Big chase on. They, the required rate is 10.4 from the get-go. That's never easy. Oh, back of a length. That ball didn't come up as much as Dalport anticipated. And the only ones interested in the LBW shot was... Uh, the gentleman behind the wicket. The crowd getting in right behind this Auto Investments Dragons. Hear the chat. Oh, what a wicket doesn't do, especially when it's right up front. Oh, charged and absolutely slapped. This could be the second wicket. It is Delport giving it away. It is the second wicket in this over. Cameron Delport charging. Mangaru banging it into the deck and getting a top edge. And Deep Square picking up the catch there. And the AET Tuskers in all sorts of trouble at the moment. They are five for the loss of two wickets, chasing a mammoth 208 as Shackleton is approaching the crease. Head down, walking off is Delport. Can't believe he did it. Oh, what eventful first over. A first baller. Then we saw a beautiful cover drive by Delport. And now we've seen another wicket. And the over still isn't done yet. Still one ball left. Five for two. This is going to make it very hard for the Tuskers. They needed a good start, but they needed a solid start. Not forgetting that that first two or three overs, that they were only batting at about five and six were the Dragons, and then picked it up from there. It was a running between the wickets that was so impressive from the Dragons. And now the bowling, oh, just coming together. Where it looked like it was only greenery with the opening partnership of 141 between Prince and Herman. Now it just looks like it's full of, of fielders for the Tuskers. Shackleton facing the music. Mangro coming into him. Oh, last ball of the first over. 
Oh, <laughs> Shai has match. Even the keeper dropped it. You can hear the wave crowd asking for one more wicket there. And what a start for the auto investments, Dragons. They could not have asked for a better start. Even the keeper just wants to run up and just give a high five. Mutusami couldn't have asked for a better start. Michal Pretorius going to be the one continuing the good work done by Mangru. I don't think they'll be able to take the ball out of his hand now. He will definitely want the second and third or fourth over. Oh, Mikhail Pretorius, 67th match. Best figures of four for 32. He's going to be continuing. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic comeback here by the Tuskers. They did it with the ball. Can they do it now with the bat as well? Yasin Vali facing up to Pretorius. Oh, outside part of the bat again. Yasin Vali paying for every part of that bat. Third man in the game when he bats. Shackleton going to face Pretorius. In the com box is heating up. It's not just the action, it's the sun as well. It is really getting hot at JB Marks Oval in Poch of Struem. Pretorius into Shackleton. Oh, another edge found third man coming into play again. Bit of a thumble there allows them to come back for the second. The man of the moment, Mangaru, oh, doing the thumble there. And a big, thick edge by Shackleton. Gets him off the mark. We hear a couple of sirens in the background. Bit of medics. Oh, and the crowd gets into it. This one just chipped over mid-wicket. They're going to double up once again. And this is something that the Tuskers need to do from the get-go as well. they got to do exactly what the Dragons did, turning the ones into twos. The crowd getting right in behind the auto investments Dragons, urging them on, asking for wickets every single delivery. Solid behind that one. That's what they're going to need. They need to consolidate but also keep up with the run rate. You don't want that to go past that 12, 13 mark from the get-go. Approaching 11. Required rate is 10.8. Ten for the loss of two wickets. Oh, this one, a beautiful shot off the back foot. Punched through the covers. First four for Shackleton. And uh, Pretorius just a little bit short and wide there. Playing a lovely shot. And the crowd is celebrating the few Tusker supporters that we have. They were pretty happy when the Dragons were batting as well. I think they're just cricket supporters at the moment. Really just enjoying every bit of the JB Marks Oval. Pretorius just uh, removing his slip. Mutusami feel they must uh, reinforce that cover area. They've got the third man on the fence. And then also deep square leg looking right into the sun. Oh, another one down to third man. Single to end off the over. That is the end of the third over. Not nearly as eventful as the first one was. 15 for the loss of two wickets. Good start for the Tuskers. Run wise, but that wickets column. Losing two in quick succession. 
turn. Big wicket of Cameron Dalport. Oh, that was the one that the uh, Dragons wanted. Just hear the music and the vibe is picking up here in uh, Strum. The equation is 108 balls remaining and 193 runs still to get. Mangaru, as I said earlier, he won't take the ball out of his hand now. He picked up two in his very first over. Two huge wickets with the first baller. An absolute jaffa. Shackleton facing up. He's nine of six. Oh, just back past him. So much happening in his first over. A dot ball almost uh, feels like an anti-climax. The game plan would have changed now for the Tuskers with those early wickets. They want to keep wickets in hand to have a good onslaught throughout the innings. Oh, this one just wrapping him on the pad. Have to wait to see if there was any bat involved. Nope. Empire says leg by. At the moment, I don't feel the AET Tuskers would be minding that too much. Any runs on the board would be welcome for them. It's a mammoth score they need to chase after that brilliant batting display by the Auto Investments Dragons. But also, credit to the Tuskers. At one stage, it was looking like a 225, 230 run chase that they're going to have and they pulled it back very well with a couple of wickets big wicket of Herman of a hundred and or for his first century 102 or 54 deliveries Prince scored a 50 opening stand of 141 in complete contrast 16 for 2 are the AET Tuskers hey, what are you doing? very <laughs> very interesting looking shot there it was the no-look scoop. I think that's what you call that one. Got in line and then you look away and you hope for the best. That not Those those normally look good when it goes comes off. But when they don't come off, oh my goodness. You get a bit of a flack and a bit of a stare down from the coaching staff. Yasin Vali. Such a clean strike of the ball. Early in his innings trying to go for that scoop already. Oh, front foot, no ball. Naughty, naughty. Mongaru just trying to reach for that extra yard of pace. Already such a big man. I don't know why he wants to get so close to the batter then. Overstepping. This means free hit. But the field may, the field may change. Because it is Shackleton that's going to get the free hit. Valsi Vali picking up a single on that no ball. The two men on the fence is deep square and a very wide mid on for Shackleton. And he goes for it over that mid wicket fence. It is a sixer. Half a dozen for Shackleton. Making the free hit count. Lovely shot. Spanked that one right into the wall. Empires might want to have a look at the ball there. There we see him just asking for it. Ah, oh, good catch, Mr. Empire. Making sure that it's all fine. After a very brilliant first over, picking up two wickets. Mongaru has gone for a bit of tap now. Front foot, no ball, free hit, and Shackleton made him pay. First half a dozen for the AT Tuskers. Need a couple of more of those. Oh, this is a lovely shot. Good fielding. Fantastic fielding by Seleka. Sliding, picking it up. Making sure it's only the one. I always know if everyone can pick up the ambient sounds that we've got on, at the uh, grounds, but you can just hear them urging on. 
They were asking for wickets now, and now they ask him to keep down the runs. Oh, you gotta love cricket supporters. Always happy, but then again, also never happy. 25 for the last of two. Last ball and the second over. Manguru coming in. Yasin Valley on strike. Trying to get that one past the keeper, but he can't. There is a third man in place. That's the end of the over. <laughs> 25 for the loss of two wickets. Three overs gone. 8.3 is the rate at the moment. And they should be scoring at 10.8, keeping up with the run rate. Shackleton is 6 of 10. And Yasin Valley is 3 of 5. These two need to consolidate very nicely. Gonna have a change in bowler de Swart coming in. He's replacing Michael Pretorius. Oh, a lovely shot around the corner. It is four runs. And Shackleton is gonna make a run chase of this. He's moved on to 20 of 11. This is fantastic stuff by Shackleton after that free hit. Just looked like he wanted to go. Ruan de Swart. Making part of that uh, tour to New Zealand. Oh, nearly chipped it to mid-wicket. Oh my goodness. That would have been disastrous for the AT Tuskers. You can just see Shackleton's reaction there. Almost asked himself, what were you doing? That was nearly a chip shot down the throat of Pretorius. AT Tuskers cannot afford more wickets. Oh, moving across into that off stump. That's the second dot. And Pretorius just warning Valley, saying, hold on. Stay in your crease. Shackleton, 20 of 13. Yasin Valley, 3 of 5. 29 for loss of 2. The Swart doing a fantastic job. After straying onto the pads, getting clipped for 4. Bowling three dots in a row now. Fantastic work. Pretorius again <laughs> going the other way. And just making sure that they stand their ground. Auto Investments. Dragons taking on the AET Tuskers here in Potchefstroom. The JB Marks Oval, a lovely sunny day. We're experiencing all the fun in the sun at the moment. Oh, just a single. The Swart doing a fantastic job. Interesting to see what uh, Vali will do. He tried a very interesting looking scoop earlier on in the previous over. Will he try it again with fine leg and third man in the circle? He only has the deep square and a deep point out on the fence. Oh, this time round just pushing it into the covers. And this has been the difference thus far in this very short innings of the AET Tuskers. When you compare the start to the Auto Investment Dragons, they were pushing the ones, they were pushing the twos, they were dropping and going, they were rotating the strike regularly where the AT Tuskers have just failed to pick up the singles 
fantastic over by De Swart, being clipped for four of his first ball. After that, three dots, a single and another dot. Score is 30 for the loss of two wickets. That's after four overs. Required rate has crept up over that 11 mark now. That's the required run rate is all the ones. It's 11.1 uh, required. 178 to win, and that is of 96 deliveries. Mutosami bring himself into the attack. First time we're going to see pace being taken off for the Dragons. Now the two overs to go in the power play. He's got middle on the fence about 10 meters off and he also has got deep square out. Oh, getting charged first ball. Conceding a single, they wouldn't mind that. They wouldn't mind conceding a single every single delivery. Now we'll see that uh, man coming into the circle for the left-handed yeah, Valley. Mutusami turning the ball into the left-hander. Madonna a bit wider. He's also got Cal Corner in place now as well. Oh, fantastic shot. And what fielding was that? Brilliant stuff. Absolute athleticism shown there. And that's by Tene. Well done. Done, Caleb. Again, Valley cannot pierce the inner ring. Coming down the track and three dots in a row. This is putting a lot of pressure onto the AT Tuskers and immediately. The run rate is shot up to 11.5. Just shows you how dots can change the complexion of a run chase. Oh, pause in the action. Pause in the action. This is another thing that the AT Tuskers could not do against that opening partnership of Herman and Prince. This is the fourth dot that's been put together by Mutsami. Oh, Mutusami. Only the two singles coming from that over. Fantastic bowling by the skipper. That is what you want from your uh, left arm spinner. Just containing it. And Yasin Valley, something's got to give. He's 4 of 11. And it's Pretorius who's going to come back. Mixing up the bowlers nicely, making sure they don't settle against a bowler. 35, 32 for the loss of two wickets. Those two wickets, of course, falling in the very first over. Mongaroo picking up a double in that first over. Valley is 4 of 11. Shackleton, 22 of 16. Pretorius conceded 10 runs in his first over. But the dot balls at the moment is hurting the Tuskers. 11.7 is the required rate. Oh, it's a drop and go for Valley this time round. Is it going to be a shy? No, it isn't. Leg by, signaled by the umpire. Again, the Tuskers wouldn't be too worried about that as long as the scoreboard keeps ticking. They got a right left combination at the crease. This is the last over of the power play. Pretorius into Shackleton. Deep point. Deep square on the fence. Moving across nicely to his off side. But only managed to pick up that feel that deep point. Not a great throw, great take by the keeper. That's a man who scored a 50 today as well. Mikael Prince.
Oh, Vali moving his feet. And this was this picked up. Did a drop short. Empire has given him out. Yasin Vali has given it away after 13 deliveries. Another strike for the auto investments, Dragons. That's the third one, just pushing it into cover. Trying to get a bit of an advance going. Pretorius picking up an important wicket. As we see Captain Erlang coming to the crease in all sorts of trouble. Here's the Tuskers. They need to go at exactly 12 now. It's two runs to a ball. 34 for the loss of three wickets after five overs. And my goodness, the Water Investments Dragons is blowing the AET Tuskers out of the water at the moment. This game can change very quickly. A big innings here from the captain. Adelang could just swing it in their favor. But he's going to really have to grind it out. Also see the physio just running on. Might just be a bit of a plaster problem. Adelonga Shackleton. Uh, 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 how are we going to go about constructing this run chase from here? And very important for the Dragons, they want to pick up that bonus point. I want to bowl out the uh, Tuskers before they reach 80% of their score. The crowd really getting into this uh, contest on the embankment. They're enjoying themselves a lot. As we're going to see this wicket. It's Arlong taking guard. Going to be facing up to Pretorius, picking up the wicket. And it all started with that over of Mutusami, where, which had four dots in it. And all four dots going to Vali. 174 of 87 is the equation. And even if the rain comes down now, which it won't, it's a lovely day in Poch. Duck with Lewis and Stern is on 69, the good old fashioned 69er. Pretorius into Arlank. Oh, <laughs> squaring him up, first ball. And oh, nearly a run out as well. Looks like the Swart went for that one. And uh, Arlong having a gentle jog in there. A Sunday stroll and nearly didn't make his ground. Almost a land grab there before he reached the pitch. Important for him. He got off the mark of the very first ball. Pretorius into Shackleton. Important. Oh, another close call. It's another one. Another tall gentleman, Janssen, picking that one up and flicking it with the left hand. And oh, how close that would have been. Looking on your screen, you might feel that it's chances that don't no need to take. But unfortunately, the Tuskers is behind the eight ball. It's now over 12, it's 12.1. They need to take these risks. Just to keep up with the scoring rate. Pretoria is doing a fantastic job. He's into Captain Erlang. Oh, that one. Gives you the impression it stayed low, but I think he just fell on it. Thus far, the pitch has been playing beautifully. No demons or anything strange in it. A lovely strip to bat on. 36 for 3. That's after 6 overs. And the power play is now finished. Now the scoring is going to be a little bit more difficult for the Tuskers. And every single over passing. Every single over without a boundary passing. Makes that run rate creep up. Currently batting at 6 to the over. They need to go at 12.3 and almost becoming an impossible task. Just over double a delivery. Mutusami bowled a brilliant first over. Only went for the two singles in that. 
They could not get him away. Shackleton. He's on 24 of 18. Adelang has just joined him. Ball picked up by Janssen. Oh, almost underarm flicked in. Here the ball just thudding into the keeper's gloves. And now they can just lovely just sit back, relax, trying to contain the boundaries and just make the AET Tuskers take all the risk. Five men on the fence for the left hander. He's deep square, cow corner, mid on and mid off. Dropping this one short, straight to the fielder. What has he done? How is that possible? It's a rank long hop and it was fielding practice. Mutusami picking up a wicket with probably the worst ball he's bowled today. And the AET Tuskers must have an appointment because they're giving their wickets away. Adelang three balls for just a solitary single. What must Shackleton do to secure a partner on the other side? You can see the way Adelang's just walking off. He's laboring off. Cannot believe he did that. Ntando Zuma coming in. Here's a youngster. A great prospect going forward for South Africa. A keeper batter. But he's going to need... Wow. He's going to need some support. Shackleton is going to need someone to stay on the other end and also score with him. Because at the moment they're just giving it away. Rank long hop. Right in down the throat of the fielder. Everyone just enjoying. Look at the crowd. <laughs> Fantastic. The Dragons has not been disappointing us whatsoever. The AET Tuskers cannot believe what they're doing at the moment. Reinhard van Tonder picking up that catch. Didn't have to move. Three steps forward and it was down his gobbler. Oh, 37 for four. Busy with the seventh over. The equation. Ah, oh, Mutusami going on the pad. You know it's close when only third man appeals. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mutusami taking off all the pace of the delivery, making them create something. It's only the one. Mutusami doing a fantastic job with the ball. Picking up a wicket. The equation, 169 from 80 deliveries. Again, no pace on delivery. Lovely wrist work there by Zuma. Oh, and what fielding that was by the big man. That's Rwanda Swart. Getting it in quickly, making sure it's only the one. Zuma off the mark. Oh my goodness. Another one just dropping short of the fielder. He might have hit that into the deck as well. Bit of a bum ball, bit of a crowd catch there. Got me excited as well with all the wickets they've been giving away. It is the end of the over. Seven gone, 40 for the loss of four. And the required rate is now just tickling 13. It's 12.9. And you almost feel that it's becoming an impossible task for the AET Tuskers. Auto Investments Dragons have to do very, very well to lose it from here.
Herman just getting the helmet. We're going to see a change in bowling. Seleka coming in. Best figures of 3 for 13. That was against the Knights last season here in Poch. 23 matches, 19 wickets. And as I mentioned, it's 3 for 13 in his four overs, which was a fantastic bowling spell. Arman just uh, taking up his place as keeper. Prince coming off for a well-deserved rest. The Centurion man. Behind the stumps. Probably asking the batters, why are you guys struggling so much? I just scored 102 on the same pitch. Don't know what's so difficult. And he did that of 56 deliveries. Oh my word, what an innings it was. Oh, the leg in play. There we go. Great, great start. Not a great first delivery, but fielded very, very well. Just that dot has pushed it over 13. Now 13.1 required. Oh, Ooh. my word. That's going to leave a stinger. That's a drop catch. That would have been the fifth wicket again, a rank long hop. And it's Guepi dropping that one. He'll only be giving high fives with the left hand now. <laughs> that right hand is hurting. Much safer shot, Shackleton. Just a single. Zuma lucky to be there. Oh, there we go. Much better delivery. Just sliding it on. Just getting it on to the batter. Zuma opting to go back. Got to feel that the big shots has to come out. Oh, another long up. Quicker, flatter. And it almost looks like they're batting on a different track. The timing came so easy to the Auto Investments Dragons and the AT Tuskers are just struggling for timing. Oh, yes. Guepe picking that one up. End of the over. It is 43 for the loss of four wickets. And oh my goodness. It is the run rate required has gotten out of hand completely. It is 13.7. They need a boundary or two every single over from here just to keep up with the run rate. So you've got to feel the 80 Tuskers are basically just wanting to stop the bonus point for the Dragons. The way the Dragons have played, you cannot believe that they've played two and lost two. Of course, a nail-biter against Western Province. Zuma facing up to Mutu Same, who's only conceded five runs in his two overs. Oh. Giving them no pace to work with whatsoever. Switch hit, big appeal and given! Given out! LBW! If someone deserved a wicket, it was Mutusami. He's second for the innings. Ntando Zuma. When it comes off, you're the hero. When it doesn't, they ask you why. Didn't really have much of a choice. They need to go at over 14 to the over now. AET Tuskers have lost half their personnel. And that's only 43 runs. You can just see this delivery. Firing into that off stump. Yo, must be an umpire's call. Zuma might have felt that it would have hit him outside the line. 
L adjudicates it. LBW. AET Tusker's dugout is absolutely quiet. They got no words for what is happening. Keith Dudgeon coming in, did a great job with the ball. First two overs was a bit expensive, and then he came back and picked up the big wicket of Herman. Doesn't have a great average. Highest score of only 27. His 20th match. An average of 11. But he's a big man. He wants to get those shoulders through the line and see if he can't strike a couple of lusty blows. With the last recognized batter now back in the hut, Zuma. Shackleton is still stranded on 27 of 23. Coming in at number 4. He could not buy a partner at the moment. Doesn't know where that sale is taking place. Hopefully Dajan can keep him company. Mutusame. 2.2 overs. 2 for 5. Fantastic bowling. And he is just putting the dots together like Pac-Man at the moment. Oh, that round arm. Dudgeon is off the mark. It's another run for the AT Tuskers. 44 for 5. Going at a steady 5.1. They were behind the eight ball when this batting inning started. Very first delivery. They lost the opener with an absolute jaffer. And then also in that same over losing Cameron Dalport. Oh, you can just hear the oohs, just hear the ahs. Another over gone for Mutusame. Three overs, two for seven in a t20 match fantastic figures thus far i think he'll probably finish up seen a run mutusami fantastic bowling 45 for five after nine overs gotta feel that's it for the aet tuskers they probably will be just getting some pitch practice in now <coughs> a very disappointing run chase we were hoping to see some fireworks from the likes of delport and Co. and it just not, not happened. Same with Yasin Valley. They all just struggled. See the practice shot there from Dajan, maybe eyeing up that uh, long drive. Oh, this one worked around the corner, right straight to 45. And again, the contrast in innings is the Dragons picked the gaps to perfection. The ones were most definitely twos, and even where there wasn't ones, they picked up the singles. Oh my word, he has bowled him. How has that snuck through? Shackleton, who's looked the most solid of all the batters, has succumbed to just a little bit quicker, a little bit flatter delivery. Tried to cut it away too close to his body. Bottom edge onto the stumps. The bales have hardly left. The pop increase. And it's another wicket down for the Tuskers. It is 45 for the loss of five, sorry, for six wickets in the 10th over. And uh, Dudgeon now looking for a partner. Shackleton thus far, top scoring 28 of 26 deliveries. Two fours and he had that free hit that went for six as well. Everything just going awry for AET Tuskers in this match. We said in the beginning of the broadcast that one of these teams will have their first win in this competition. Both of them played two, lost two. In fact, the AT Tuskers have played three and lost three. And they are staring down the barrel of their fourth loss. And the Dragons are going to have the sweet nectar of a W behind their name. Trumpelman, the big left arm seamer coming into the crease. Average of 19, Namibia versus UAE. That was in the uh, Geelong region. 
29th match. The fast bowler's at the crease now. And he has smacked it. Is this another wicket? Oh my word, what is happening? He's shaking his head. Trumpleman can't believe it. It's another half tracker taking the wicket. And would you believe it? Seleka is on a hat trick. My word. It is like the 80 Tuskers just wants to go home at the moment. They are just seeing silver and orange wherever they are looking at the moment. There's no green on this field because they're only picking the fielders. Oh, 45 for the loss of seven. Even the dancing has stopped because the people can't keep up with the wickets. Run rate is completely out of sync. It is 15.5. So the Tuskers definitely will not make the runs. But oh my word, they're giving away wickets. The dragon should just be concentrating on that uh, short length. Just bowl half trackers. You'll be out of the sun in a second. Mutusami has picked up two. Seleka has picked up a double. Two in two. Hat-trick ball. One ball that snuck through. Shackleton's defenses got bowled. This one a half-tracker. And just down the throat. <coughs> Looks like the catcher there was Van Toner once again. Hat-trick ball. Here we go. Are we going to hear some claps? Starting off slowly. Hat-trick ball. Oh my word. He went back to the fuller one as well. That's a way to get everyone excited for a hat-trick ball. Go back to the spinner. The new batter is... Uh, Andile Kletewa. He's off the mark. He must feel relieved. <laughs> oh, this is what they needed to do from the top order. This is the difference between the innings as again, and I emphasized it earlier as well, is the running between the wickets. The Dragons created the ones and they created the twos. Where there wasn't, where the Tuskers are just happy to knock and jog through for the one. No pressure on the fielder there. Coming in, strutting in, happy to give the ones. Mutusami coming in for his last over. The equation is 160 of uh, 60 deliveries. 10 overs to go. We are at the halfway stage for the AET Tuskers innings. But unfortunately, the wickets column is more to the back end of the innings. They are 7 down already for 48. Shackleton was the top scorer there with 28. Telekas figures. 2 overs. 2 for 6. Mutusame has only conceded 7 runs in his 3 overs. Five overs for 13 runs for four wickets. A single there. 49. And they will get some uh, excitement from the AT Tuskers fan as the 50 comes on to the board. It's 50, but that second part of the equation they would not be happy with. It's for the loss of seven wickets. Oh, there we go. Big shot. Is it going to clear the fence? Yes, it is. Half a dozen. And the AET Tuskers have decided, and as the bowlers has decided, listen, let's show the top order how this is done. It's a sexer. It's the second one for the AET Tuskers. 
After reaching there, 50 decided we need to go a bit harder now. Oh, and again, bold. After hitting a lovely six by Mut from Mutosami. Tetewa decided I need to go for another one. You can't hold it against him. Mr. We're into the bowlers now. This was the job for the top order. The eighth wicket down and the third wicket for Mutosami. To put it in perspective, 5.4 overs for the spinners and they've picked up five wickets and that is for 19 runs you can just see the dugout just absolutely distorted look at this going for the big slog sweep and the bales just knocked off New bats in. And Zabella, the left arm spinner for the Tuskers. Highest score of 16. You'll need to bat out of his skin. An average of just 7. And he got that highest score this season though. In Kaberka. The Tuskers versus the Warriors. But my word has this been a dominant display by the auto investments. Dragons. Been very difficult for AT Tuskers from the get go. The Dragons had a 141 opening partnership between Prince and Herman. Herman scoring a 50 and, uh, sorry, Prince scoring a 50 and Herman is maiden century scoring 102. And thus far, the Tuskers is 56 for 8, third wicket for Mutusami. Down the track is. Tlebela immediately. One more ball to go in the last over for Mutosame. Three for 15 thus far. Oh, happy to give the one. Big round of applause for Mutosame. Skipper well bowled. Four overs. Three for 16. Fantastic, fantastic bowling. One of the chief destroyers. Seleka. Will most likely just continue with his leggies. That's going to be his third over. He's picked up two as well, but uh, 57 for the loss of eight wickets. In a chase of a mammoth 208 runs, the equation is 151 with 54 balls. The run rate is shot up to nearly 17, so virtually impossible. For the Tuskers. Seleka so coming in with his leg spin. Oh, every single ball is oohs and ahs. They just feel that they need another wicket, yeah? Dudgeon going to face up to the music now. He's 3 or 5. Seleka. Oh, how we would love to finish it up here. Two quick wickets. Put our feet up. Enjoy our first win. Oh, ho, ho. giving himself a little bit of room. Trying to access that uh, extra cover region. The man on the field is the sweeper. He's on the sweeper fence and also... Mid on and mid off out. And then that uh, square leg. This ball is hit through mid wicket for another two. But that square leg is about 10 meters off the fence. And that's been a very productive fielding position for the Dragons. Oh, Dajan deciding it's time to go. Did he haul out? Oh! Fantastic attempt and great fielding in the end. Keeping it down to two. Dajan felt that he hit it good enough. But it's the big man. Fantonder all the way down on the fence there. They just stopped that one from going for a six. And oh, he's almost distorted. They didn't catch it. Dajan picking up a double. 
Oh, another short one. Through mid-wicket again. Are they going to double up? No, oh, yes, they are. A tumble in the field. That hasn't happened that much. It's another two. All of a sudden, the intent is there. One more ball to go in. A third over for Seleka. Dot ball to finish off. 64 for the loss of eight. And don't forget the Sri Lankans inbound tour is the Pratia's woman versus Sri Lanka. Let's go, South Africa. Experience our World Cup's finalists, the Pratia women, taking on the Sri Lankans in a T20 and one day international series from the 27th of March up until the 17th of April. It's going to be exhilarating. There's going to be sixes. There's going to be dancing. There's going to be big hits. Oh, Zanawe. Let's show up for our team. Let's in, make sure that our World Cup finalists enjoy all the support. Hashtag always rising. Hashtag Wazanawe. We got a bowling cha change now for the Dragons. As Seam is back. Of the spinners did a fantastic job. Mutasami picking up three wickets. Oh, starting off with a beautiful Yorker. Just the one. Nay, nay, into the attack. Asking a bit of help with the pronunciation there, so I apologize if it's not correct. Thank you. Close enough. Thank you. Start over the lovely Yorker. He's into Dudgeon. On. Oh, are they going to double up? Are they going to do what the Dragons did? Yes, it is. Bowler run out chance, and it is a run out. You took on the arm of Big Janssen. That's not going to happen. Fantastic work by the Dragons. And they are making a meal of this is the AET Tuskers. All the wickets that has fallen now all of a sudden a run out as well. It is the dreaded 66 for 9 in the 12th over. And that's tickets for the AET Tuskers. Picking that ball up. Fantastic arm. And taken by the bowler and just the bales being whipped off. Kleleba doing a good job there. Janssen, fantastic fielding. Started off with a brilliant Yorker. Which they could take the one. This time Dudgeon worked it around the corner. And the single was just not on. The single was on rather. The second one was just not on. But again, AET Tuskers, no choice. Kumalo. Not recognized better. Only his seventh match. His fourth batting innings. Only a six not out, so... Never lost his wicket, don't have an average thus far, but uh, oh, I'll bet about a half an hour ago he wasn't thinking that he'll be batting in the uh, 13th over. And his team will be 66 for 9. Or to investments, Dragons did a fantastic job thus far. This time around there was the call for one immediately because they saw Janssen strutting into that ball. It's going to be hard the rest of the season for the Tuskers. They need to come back after this defeat. They need to go back to the drawing board and see how we're going to do this. How are we going to go about the rest of our season? Oh, another good delivery. 
as we congratulate the people celebrating a birthday on our right hand side the crowd just having a bit of a bit of a celebration there's someone's birthday hopefully a dragon supporter because then uh, they'll be having a fantastic birthday Dragons need one more wicket to close out this game. Ta the uh, Tuskers need 141 runs of 44 deliveries. Oh, a little bit of lift. Trying to play that one just down to third man. It's been a tough day at the office for the AET Tuskers. It all started off with that 141 First wicket partnership between Prince and Herman. And then all come, came together. That 207 score that they posted. Wide ball. That's a bit of an extra ball. You can hear the yays. They thought there might have been a something on it. Extra run to the scoreboard. 68 for 9. As I was saying, it's come together with that 207 that they scored. And then everything from the first ball just went wrong for the Tuskers. A first ball wicket, losing their opener. And then the same over Dalport went as well. Two for five they were after the first over. And things just went pear-shaped from there. It's the end of the 13th over. It is 68 for the loss of nine wickets. And the run rate, still doable. 20 on the dot is what is required. So a couple of boundaries. And you have five boundaries and over. One wicket in hand. Oh, Dudgeon facing up to Seleko. has picked up two wickets for 13 runs. Bonus point looming for the Dragons. Can't wait to have that victory beverage. It's going to be a cold one because it was a hot day in Potch. That breeze that we spoke about in the first innings has completely gone away. Oh, was that another opportunity? He doesn't look too abreaved. Oh, feels that there's a bit of a letdown. Seleka, 2 for 13, closing out his innings. We'd love to pick up one more. But thus far, the full deliveries have only picked him up one wicket. He must bowl the half tracker again. That looks like it's a go to ball. Moving on, that's a deep mid wicket, deep square on the fence. He's got a man on the sweeper fence as well for Dudgeon, and also the two mids is out on the ropes as well. Give himself some room. Was there an edge? That was almost an appeal begging to go home. I think it was. Dudgeon just looking back to the keeper and asking, what did you hear? Probably asking him to say it again because he couldn't hear anything. <laughs> but quicker, flatter. Is this going to be? No, it's not going to beat that man at the sweeper fence. Dajan is having a bit of a bit of a batting practice. Kumalu did a fantastic job with the ball. Picked up a couple of wickets as well. Oh. Not a great situation to be in for him. Oh, just dab down to third man. Bit of a thumble there. Are they gonna come for the second? Yes, they are. Ah, two runs. Kumala's outscored the opening batter. 
End of the over. Fantastic figures for Seleka as well. Two for 14 in four overs. Brilliant stuff. And that's with Mutosami, who conceded 17 for three in his, or three wickets in his four overs. Great okay, Trek coming into the attack again. Start over with a brilliant Yorker. Conceded a single. And then Dajan working around the corner. Wanted to come back for the second, but the big arm of Janssen creating a run out. Oh, works around the corner. Is this going to be a four? Yes, it is. A little bit of excitement for the AET Tuskers. Finally a boundary. And it comes in the form of the big frame of Keith Dudgeon. 16 of 18 he is. Him and Shackleton scoring the most of the runs. 75 for the loss of nine. It's after 14 overs. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a maximum. And oh, the crowd is asleep. They don't know about the one-handed catches. There's a bit of money on. You should have taken it. But it's a half a dozen. And Dudgeon decided, let's have a bit of fun with the crowd. 22 of 19 is Dudgeon. He wants to be the top scorer for... The Tuskers. Another six. He'll be right up there. Only Shackleton outscoring him at the moment. One wicket for the Dragons. Oh, nice looking shot. You can hear the appreciation from the dugout as well. The Dragons, very relaxed. They don't really mind this. Have a bit of a hit. Have a bit of a go. Only need one more wicket. And the Tuskers need 126 runs still. Oh, short ball. A bit late on that was Kumalu. And if he hit it, he would have had to clear the nice, tall, lanky Janssen on the fence. They got sweeper out for Kumalu. And then also a man at square leg on the fence. But that is the only two. So I apologize. They also got fine leg and third man out. So I don't think a lot's going to be uh, pitched up to the fast bowler. Oh, walking down the track. This could be it. Oh, and there is it. Fantastic catch. Seleka picking that one up. Brilliant stuff. Auto Investments Dragons has absolutely hammered the AET Tuskers. Look at the crowd elation there. Victory dance will commence now. Brilliant stuff. The Auto Investments Dragons have beaten the AET Tuskers. It's by a mammoth 126 runs. 82 all out in the 15th over. Dudgeon 23 of 20 is the last man left standing. Kumalo giving his wicket away. Shackleton, the other double figures man on the scorecard. He scored his 28. But the story of the day is the opening partnership between Herman and Prince. Herman scoring his maiden test century and no doubt the man of the match with his 102 of 56 deliveries. What a fantastic innings that was. It is a big win for the Dragons. Their first one in this competition. And hopefully not the last. They played brilliantly. Did they? And we also like to remind you of the Pratias women versus Sri Lanka inbound tour. Let's go South Africa. Experience our World Cup finalists. The Pratia women's cricket team in action against the Sri Lankans. They'll be taking on Sri Lanka in the T20 and One Day International Series from the 27th of March up until the 17th of April. Oza Nawe. We're going to be seeing big hits. There'll be sixes. They'll be dancing. Big hits. 
So let's follow the women and make them feel proud. Always rising. It's hashtag always rising. Hashtag Ozanawe. Congratulations to the Auto Investments Dragons. AET Tuskers will feel despair. They need to go back to the drawing board and see what they can do to get their season on the winning track as well. A lot of work to do for them. But all the compliments goes to the uh, Auto Investments Dragons, the Northwest Dragons. Fantastic job done. And hope your season gets to a kickstart now. Play three, one, one. Those celebration beverages is going to sound good. The group uh, on our right hand side has already had a few beverages. It is 82 all out. We want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you for visiting the JB Marks Oval. There's a lot of cricket still to come. Keep it here. Keep it live on Pitch Vision. Keep it live on the Super Sport YouTube channel. We still got the game at Wanderers as well. The Lions game coming up as well. It's going to be another cracker. Thanks to the production team. You guys did a fantastic job. Thanks to the scorers behind me. It's been a great to visit Potchefstroom here Northwest. JB Marks Oval. Well done to the Auto Investments. Northwest Dragons. Big defeat against the AE Tuskers. Go enjoy those celebration beverages. I'm sure they're going to be nice, long and cold. Have yourself a fantastic Friday. Stick around. More cricket to come on the Supersport YouTube channel. From myself, Gerd Maloney, the production team at Pitch Vision. Have yourself a fantastic weekend.